Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Tastefully Balanced. I'm Miriam, and for today's brunch recipe, I'm sharing with you guys a Asiago sun-dried tomato zucchini scone. And it comes together so quickly, just throw everything together, bake in the oven for 20-25 minutes, and you have freshly delicious scones. So if you guys like scone recipes, please subscribe and keep watching. All right, welcome back. So the first thing we're gonna do is get our flour ready. So in front of me, I have two cups of whole wheat flour, a little bit of baking powder and salt. So what I'm gonna do is just whisk this all together. All right, that looks good. And then over here on the side, I have zucchini that I've shred shredded and squeezed out all of the excess water. And then I have some sun-dried tomatoes that were soaking in oil. I drained out the oil and then just chopped up the sun-dried tomatoes. And then I have Asiago cheese that I shredded. And then over here is some fresh rosemary from the garden. And you guys, it smells so good. So all I'm gonna do here is just kind of give this a rough mix, just so everything is combined. All right, so that looks well mixed, so I'm gonna go ahead and set that aside. Next, I am going to mix up my buttermilk. And one egg. And I'm gonna mix this up with the whisk really well. All right, that looks good. So now I've got all of my separate ingredients ready. So now we're gonna mix them all together. So with my flour, I have some cold whipped butter that I'm going to put in my butter. Now you can use a knife. Sorry, I meant put it in my flour. <laughs> all right, so if you guys have a pastry cutter, use it. If not, you can just use a knife. But all you do is kind of do this and cut the butter into the flour like this. You just wanna make sure that the butter pieces get really small. Okay, so all my butter pieces are nice and small. So this looks good. Now I am just going to take that zucchini, sun-dried tomato, cheese, rosemary mixture Go ahead and put it in the dough and gently fold it in. So just fold. Okay, this looks perfect. Everything is nicely coated in the flour. So now I'm going to just slowly fold in and mix the buttermilk egg mixture. And this you don't want to over mix at all, so just be careful because if you over mix, then it's not going to be scone texture. It's gonna be more like a bread. So just until it's incorporated and you don't see any wet spots anymore. Okay, that looks perfect, not too mixed, but there's no dry flour left. So now I have myself a clean surface. What I'm gonna do is take some flour and just kind of dust my surface with the flour so that our scone mixture doesn't stick. That should be good. And now my hands are clean. So with clean hands, just, well, first, Coat your hands so that it doesn't stick to it. Put your scone mixture right in the middle. And then just knead it three to four times. So once, twice. And if it gets sticky, just keep adding more flour. All right, so that's good. And now, 
Just gonna put some more flour, just make sure. Okay, so that looks good. Now what I'm gonna do is I have a baking tray here that I have lined already with some aluminum foil and then I've sprayed it with some nonstick spray. I'm just gonna take my scone mixture that I have right here and place it right in the middle like that. And then just kind of spread it a little bit just so it's about uh, 10 to 12 inches. Try to make it circular though, <laughs> as much as you can. Totally fine. So it's not sticky, which is why I'm not gonna add any more flour, but that looks good. So now all I'm gonna do is take some, actually before I brush the top, I'm gonna take a butter knife and then just kind of make our shape into, make the circle into kind of like scones. So cut it all the way through too, cause this will expand. So let me just do this. Do this. Okay, and then now you just brush the top with some egg white so that you get that nice golden color. And then all you're gonna do is pop this in the oven 20 to 22 minutes at 375 and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right guys, you have to look at this. This looks so, so good. It's nice and golden. Oh my gosh, and if you could smell this right now, it smells so good and so savory. All right, I have to try this. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, I'm so excited, guys. Oh, oh, I love scones, especially freshly hot baked scones. All right, oh, oh, steaming, oh no. <laughs> All right, I got myself something a little bit sturdier that I'm not gonna drop, so let's try that again. Oh, there you go, nice and steaming. Okay, got myself a plate over here, and the best way to eat a scone is with a tiny bit of butter on top. Oh, oh. <laughs> so excited. Oh, all right. Just gonna go ahead and cut myself a piece. Oh, nice and melted. It's a perfect bite with the sun-dried tomatoes. Mm. All right. I'm gonna try to explain how this tastes. So you know those cheddar biscuits that you get? It's, it has that kind of texture to it with that cheese running through, but then you get a kick with the tomato and the zucchini. You guys, this is so, so delicious. I wanna hurry up and wrap this up so I can finish this piece. But if you guys like brunch ideas and brunch recipes, please comment, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, live life tastefully balanced. Mm. So the first thing we're gonna do to make these scones is kind of get rid of uh, You guys don't wanna miss this out. If you guys like scone recipe. <coughs> <coughs> oh man.